Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to prevent the snipping tool from saving your screenshots and captures directly to OneDrive and taking up way too much space. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to prevent the snipping tool from actually automatically saving anything that you snip or clip on your desktop, on your Windows PC, and automatically saving it to OneDrive, which can, obviously, if you're paying for OneDrive, then obviously it can get expensive. And if you're wondering why your OneDrive folder is getting larger and larger, but you're not really using it, this is possibly why. And especially if you do a lot of copy and paste in, this could definitely be the reason. So if you go into one of your files, go to File Explorer and go into your Pictures folder and you can scroll down until you find the one for screenshots. And you'll see in there, there's an absolute ton of images, all of which have just been captured. And it does appear that since one of the recent updates, Windows 11 and possibly Windows 10 are now doing this by default. So it will automatically try and save something when you actually snip the desktop. So when I mean snip the desktop, when you do the Windows key shift and S and brings up this window and you can do a grab such as that and it says there snipping tool, your snip has been copied to the clipboard. Now, if you have a setting not set up correctly, then potentially you can get all of your information actually being saved as well. So we're gonna go ahead and find the snipping tool. Well, there it is actually, that's quite handy. So we'll open up the snipping tool And when we go on the three dots, we'll go to settings. This is your basic settings. So automatically copy changes, blah, blah, blah. Automatically save screenshots. Now this normally is set on. So if now, if I do the same thing, so Windows Shift and S and select a section of the screen, the screenshot has been copied to the clipboard and saved. So you, you can click on there and then you can obviously edit the image in your editing package, etc. But now there is a copy of this actually in the screenshots folder. So if we go down, there we go. There is the new one just been put in there. It's only a small file, like 400K, but obviously after a while, this is all gonna mount up and depending the desktop resolution, the size of the snip, then obviously this can get out of hand. So basically that is how you stop it from doing it. I thought previously, if I went into OneDrive, right clicked, choose settings, and went into this section here. So it says, save screenshots I capture to OneDrive. I figured that would be it, but that actually is not for this type of screenshot, it's for the screenshot. So if you press the print screen button on your keyboard, that is the one that controls that. So this is two separate things. If you press print screen, it's automatically gonna capture to OneDrive, so you can leave that enabled if you want to. But like I said, if you want to do the other one, go into the snipping tool. I don't know why it shows it that size. So if you just got there, go to settings and just toggle automatically save screenshots on or off. And potentially you can save yourself a little bit of file space and stop your OneDrive folder being cluttered up. So I'm gonna do that. And actually I'm gonna delete all of the stuff in this folder and free up a ton of space. So there you go. Anyway, hopefully this video has been useful to you. Um, it took me a little while to work out where it was going on. So hopefully someone else somewhere is going to be thinking the same thing, or maybe you don't even realize it's happening. So maybe you want to check your system now and actually disable that feature to prevent any of your screenshots being sent to the cloud. So hopefully this video has been useful. If it has, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, hit subscribe and the chime notification. I'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.